Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we'll be upgrading the hard drive in a mid-2009 13-inch MacBook Pro. We've already gathered our materials, shut down the MacBook Pro, and are working on a soft, static-free work surface. We are now ready to begin. The first step is to close the MacBook Pro and flip it over. There are a total of 10 Phillips screws to remove on the bottom. Starting at the top, remove the three screws on the right, which are considerably longer than the other screws. Then, remove the leftmost screw, which is the same size as the remaining screws. Finally, remove the six screws along the bottom. We are now ready to remove the bottom cover. Starting near the hinge edge, simply lift up on the bottom cover and set it aside. You should be able to see the hard drive located in the lower left corner of the computer. To remove the drive, you'll first need to remove the retaining bar by loosening these two screws and lifting it clear. Lift the drive out by pulling up on the plastic tab and sliding the SATA connector off. Using your Torx T6 screwdriver, remove these four mounting screws. Once the screws are removed, gently peel off the pull tab and set the drive aside. Take the tab you removed from the old drive and attach it to the new one. There should be enough residual adhesive left to allow it to stick. Next, attach the four mounting screws to the drive. Then, attach the SATA connector to the drive and slide the whole unit into place, making sure it sits flat. Finally, you can secure the drive in place by reattaching the retainer bar. Set the bottom cover into place and install the four screws along the top edge. Don't forget that the three screws on the right are the longer ones, while the one on the left is shorter. Finally, replace the six screws along the front and side edges. You should note that these screws do not go in straight down. They go in at an angle. You may now turn your MacBook Pro back over, open it up, and turn it on.